Hello, my friends. It's Deborah Poneman, founder of Yes to Success Seminars and Ageless, anti-aging for your brain, body, and future. And thank you for all of the positive feedback about last week's vlog on staying hydrated. I was actually blown away by your response, thinking it was such an unusual topic, but hey, you can't argue with success. So I thought I would offer another vlog this week with an additional dietary suggestion guaranteed to lead to vibrant health and long life with a clear brain and radiant skin and energy to spare at any age. And I'm offering this because almost more than any other subject, subject, substance, this causes brain inflammation, which according to many studies, uh, most recently a study done at the University of Cambridge, they say that this substance may be more widely implicated in dementia than was previously thought. And that substance is, you might have guessed it, yes, white processed sugar. A diet high in white sugar, which includes wine, unfortunately, and white carbs like white pasta, all refined white flour, tortillas, pita bread, wonder bread, 99% <laughs> of breakfast cereals, any processed grains. In the brain, this inflammation slows down communication between neurons, and this is what causes you to feel dull and foggy and slow. Furthermore, brain inflammation is serious because it means nerve cells in the brain are dying. In other words, brain inflammation is causing your brain to atrophy and age too fast. And inflammation plays a significant role in Alzheimer's, as well as many other degenerative illnesses, including cardiovascular disease and diabetes and arthritis and osteoporosis and cancers, and as well as weight gain and even depression. So this is not something you want in your diet. So how to begin to wean off of the substance, which is everywhere, especially at holiday time. First, you have to know yourself. If you're like me, you have trouble weaning yourself slowly. I can't eat treats in moderation. I'm one of those people who has to go cold turkey because one taste and it's all over. Ask my friends and family, I say, okay, I'll just take a tiny taste of the cake. And then I go back for another tiny taste and then another tiny taste and then another until I've eaten half the cake. So I have to do it cold turkey. And if I go off, it is over for me. So if you're like me, the only way to begin is to just stop. That's right, done, fini. And instead, satisfy your sweet tooth at the beginning with some less harmful sweeteners like coconut palm sugar or date sugar or monk fruit or stevia. Uh, both monk fruit and stevia come in powder or liquid. Just make sure that the stevia is organic and not Truvia or Purvia, which are chemical filled products that are put out by the Coca-Cola and PepsiCo companies, respectively. I won't go into the details here. Just trust me on this one. And make sure the monk fruit is pure monk fruit. And the first ingredient is not erythritol, which is, if you look at most monk fruit, you'll be, wow, this says pure monk fruit. Yeah, there is pure monk fruit in it, but it's mostly erythritol. And in the lab, erythritol causes inflammation in your body. I mean, in laboratory testing, even maple syrup or honey are better than anything um, that ends with the tall because like maltitol and even xylitol, it used to be okay when it was make, made from birch bark, but now it's pretty much made in the laboratory as well. All the talls, what happens is that the body doesn't know how to um, uh, um, digest them or assimilate them because they are foreign substances and it causes inflammation. So, and at the beginning, you'll also want to wean yourself off of anything that is high in um, the glycemic index, like maple syrup or honey. They're better than white sugar at the beginning, but then continue to wean yourself off of those things because they do cause brain inflammation. Again, not as much as white sugar or better yet, eat dried fruits or sweet, fresh fruit like bananas or grapes to satisfy your sweet truth. I love bananas and grapes frozen. 
I put grapes in a little baggie and freeze them. And it's, it's such a delicious treat. Or I cut my bananas in, in little chunks. And when I'm feeling, when I'm having like a craving for some sweets, then I just eat a little chunk of banana. It's really, I know it's like, yeah, right. Banana Snickers. I'm telling you, it is delicious. And they also provide much needed fiber. And these days, you don't have to worry about your kids not having delicious treats. There are literally... I mean, there have to be thousands, if not tens of thousands of recipes on the internet now for birthday cakes and just all kinds of fun and delicious baked goods sweetened with stevia or fruit juice or applesauce or mashed, mashed bananas. I always made my kids birthday cakes without sugar. I mean, my kids are 31 and 34, and I did that. I, mean, I actually wrote a book called What? No Meat. I don't even know if you could get it anymore. What? No Meat? what to do when your kids become vegetarians, but I'm pretty sure I have some good recipes in there, but you don't even have to get that. Just go on the internet and Google sugar-free treats or sugar-free birthday cakes. And you know what? When my kids were little and I would make those, their friends didn't even know the difference. They gobbled them up like they were something from Costco. And you could also get yummy treats at your local health food store online that are sweetened with fruit juice or dates or make them yourself. Once your craving for sugar is less, then you'll want to even reduce your intake of dried fruits to a few pieces a day and substitute nuts and less sweet fruit like apples or grapefruit. The crazy thing is you will start thinking that nuts are sweet once your taste buds stop being bombarded by refined white sugar. And if you're not a cold turkey kind of a girl or guy, then gradually decreasing your sugar consumption week by week might work for you. Week one, just notice ways to cut back, like instead of a Danish with your Starbucks, get a croissant. I know it's refined white flour, but it's a start. I'm talking about weaning yourself. Start doing things again, like putting bananas, they don't have to be frozen, like putting bananas and raisins and just a touch of maple syrup on your oatmeal instead of like three teaspoons full of brown sugar. Or don't eat sweetened yogurt, don't buy sweetened yogurt, but instead get plain yogurt. I mean, if you look on the on the uh, carton of sweetened yogurt, there's like 26 grams of sugar in a small serving. You don't need that. You don't want that. So instead get plain yogurt. And uh, I'm not really big on dairy. So I recommend coconut milk yogurt or cashew milk yogurt or even soy yogurt. And don't jump on me about soy. All that bad news about soy that was proliferated in the last decade has mostly been debunked. And just add a small bit of stevia or monk fruit or coconut sugar or date sugar for sweetness. Put in some blueberries, put in some strawberries. You can even puree strawberries and just a few drops of stevia and, and um, mix that into your yogurt and it tastes the same as that sugary stuff. But do not substitute artificial sweeteners like artificial, artificial sweeteners like Equal or Splenda for white sugar. They come with a host of their own problems, including devastating health consequences, worse than what white refined sugar does to you, believe it or not. The fact that they dull your taste buds and make you crave more sweets are the least of your worries with poisons like aspartame. Just for an example, sucralose, commonly referred to as Splenda, is a sugar from which some naturally occurring matter is removed and swapped out for chlorine. So while it tastes sweet, the body doesn't recognize it, so it doesn't attempt to break it down. Thus, it has zero calories. However, because the body doesn't recognize it and sees it as a foreign invader, it activates the immune system and causes inflammation. And again, I just have to mention artificial sweeteners like aspartame, which are sold under the names like NutraSweet and Equal, they were documented well before they were released into the marketplace to be linked to breast cancer and liver cancer and colon cancer. Numerous studies also documented increases in um, the incidence of fibromyalgia, multiple sclerosis, these autoimmune diseases, migraine headaches. If you have migraine headaches, go off of those artificial sweeteners, see what happens, menstrual problems. Even infertility has been linked to these artificial sweeteners in laboratory animals that consume them, as well as lack of ability to concentrate and even changes in behavior in our children, like more anger and more aggression. 
go on the internet, you'll see the studies. And the studies are done by independent labs as opposed to the studies done by the people who manufacture these sweeteners who say, oh no, they're absolutely safe. And if after a while you're still having sugar cravings, grab some protein instead, like make a shake with stevia sweetened protein powder or eat something like a hard boiled egg or a handful of nuts, organic raw unsalted would be best actually sprouted is best. I mean, I know a hard boiled egg isn't exactly a milky way, but it also doesn't cause brain inflammation. And be sure to eat regular meals. If you're a person who really craves sweets, eat regular meals and eat protein at every meal because it keeps your blood sugar stable and it's the most satisfying macronutrient so we don't crave sweets. This is especially important at breakfast. And be sure you take a good supplement. Nutrient deficiencies can make cravings worse. Certain nutrients seem to improve blood sugar control. And um, those include, I know chromium is one, vitamin B3, another is magnesium. And as you begin to detox from sugar, because it is a toxic drug, as a matter of fact, in laboratory studies, mice chose it over heroin, okay? You might find you have a headache for a day or two or other symptoms of detoxing as you eliminate sugar from your diet. So be sure to drink lots and lots of water to help flush out the toxins from your system. And remember what I said last week, if you drink sugary drinks or worse yet, things like Coke Zero or Diet Pepsi, which are sweetened with aspartame, you will want to start substituting water. It can be flavored water, but obviously nothing uh, sweetened like vitamin, vitamin water, which is filled. I think it is 20, it has as much sugar in it as does a can of Coke. And one last thing, to take temptation out of your life, you can do what I do. Everyone who comes to my home knows that it's a sugar-free zone. And I ask that they not bring sugary treats into my house. Now, if it's someone's birthday and I'm hosting a party and they want their sugary cake or their, you know, ice cream cake from Baskin Robbins or whatever, that's fine. It's their birthday and I'm not going to push my beliefs onto them, but they take it home with them when they leave. So there is no temptation. I admit it. I don't have great self-control, so why tempt fate? But the truth is, I haven't had sugar. Um, it's actually going on four years where I really, really, really haven't had any. You know, I used to, you know, I'd have like maybe one little, I was going to say gumdrop. Where did that come from? I don't think I've had a gumdrop in 40 years. But anyway, one little taste of, of a... Um, you know, like a piece of licorice or something, which is my fave, but I found lots of great licorice that's sweetened with stevie or sweetened with a little bit of molasses. So that's my treat, but no white sugar. But anyway, so that's it for today. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. And you know, after the couple of days of detoxing, notice not only does your mind wake up, your skin texture and softness completely changes, You'll notice that a carrot tastes as sweet as candy. And oh, by the way, you're going to notice like dark circles under your eyes disappear. So hello, mental clarity. Hello, radiant skin. Hello, more strength and stamina. And hello to all those other glorious benefits of a sugar-free life. Okay? And I'm happy if you give me credit when you feel like a million bucks. Okay? Good luck. See you next week. Bye for now.